Come 19th of May, all eyes will be fixed on the city of Nanning, China, where 31 of the world's best national badminton teams will gather at the Guangxi Sports Center Gymnasium for the Total BWF Sudirman Cup 2019. Held every two years, the 16th edition of the World Mixed Team Championships is definitely one of the tournaments on this year's badminton calendar. So which countries are the top contenders? Which players will grab the headlines for their nations? All the answers are right here on the Total BWF Sudirman Cup 2019 preview show. The Sudirman Cup is the ultimate test of the all-round strength of a team with men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles and mixed doubles all contested in each tie. Out of the 31 nations in Nanning, only the 12 top-ranked teams will be battling for the prize trophy. This main cast are in Group 1. The rest of the participating teams will be contesting for overall placings. Group 2 will have 8 teams in their pool, while the remaining 11 countries are in Groups 3 and 4. Let's now take an in-depth look at who will be looking to have a say in the title showdown in Group 1. In Group 1A, Russia will find it tough against top seeds Japan and Thailand, who are favourites to accompany the East Asians into the quarter-finals. Former world champion Rachanok Intanon will provide inspiration in women's singles. The world number seven has already bagged two titles on the HSBC BWF World Tour this season and will hope to show her individual brilliance in the tied team. After their impressive Singapore Badminton Open victory, which included defeating world champions Zheng Siwei and Huang Yaqiong in the semi-finals, mixed doubles duo Dechapol Puavaranukro and Sapsiri Teratanachai are shaping up to be a formidable pair for Thailand on the international stage. And if Korsip Petpradab can replicate the kind of form that got him to the men's singles final of last year's Daihatsu Yonex Japan Open, the world number 18 could help his team spring a surprise in the knockout stage. Not many can boast the incredible depth of Japan. In the singles disciplines, the badminton powerhouse can call upon reigning world champion Kento Momota and Rio Olympics bronze medalist Nozomi Okuhara and Yonex German Open winner Akane Yamaguchi. In men's doubles, Japan can unleash either newly crowned Asian champions Hiroyuki Yendo and Yuta Watanabe, or world number two duo Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda. After getting the better of two-time All England champions Mohamed Asan, Hendra Setiawan, and the top-ranked pair of Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, Kevin Sanjay Sukamuljo, to claim the crown in Singapore, confidence will be high for the Japanese tandem. With four of its pairs inside the world's top ten, women's doubles is clearly Japan's strongest discipline. From world champions Mayu Matsumoto, Wakana Nagahara, to reigning Olympic champions Misaki Matsutomo, Ayaka Takahashi, there is no shortage of world-class talent here. Arisa Higashino's involvement in mixed doubles is in doubt due to injury. But if fit, the former All England winner will team up with her partner Yuta Watanabe to complete Japan's outstanding lineup. They may be top seeds now, but Japan's only Sudirman Cup final was four years ago, after overcoming Korea in the semi finals. The tie was locked at 2 all, and it was Kanta Kazuno and Ayane Kurihara who got their team over the line against Ko Sung Hyun and Kim Ha Na in the deciding mixed doubles match. Great 
Riley again there. Oh, oh look at that return. Gosh, he's good. He's a lovely little angle. So is that from Ko Sun Hyung. Opportunities. Well, they've been a revelation, this Japanese mixed doubles pair. semi-final of the Sudderman Cup, 21-14, 21-15. The mixed doubles pair of Kenta Kazuno and Ayane Kurihara. Indonesia are alongside European teams, Denmark and England in Group 1B, and the Southeast Asians probably have a lot to prove in a competition named after one of the country's most celebrated administrators of the sport, Dick Sudirman. Despite their storied success in the other team tournaments, the Thomas and Uber Cups, the Red and Whites have not been able to reach the same heights in the Sudirman Cup. Apart from winning the inaugural edition in 1989, Indonesia have endured a barren run in the competition despite reaching six finals. Now with the race to qualify for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics underway, there's no better incentive for Indonesian players to give their all in Nanning. Kita akan mempersiapkan sebaik-baiknya, tentunya dengan membawa tim yang terbaik. Karena kita tahu bahwa Sudirman Cup adalah salah satu mungkin salah satu target dan salah satu pertandingan yang cukup penting. Karena nama Bapak Sudirman dipakai sebagai juaraan bergu campuran ya. Dan Indonesia baru satu kali. Tentunya kita juga berharap bahwa pertandingan di sana nanti kita bisa mendapatkan hasil yang maksimal. Persiapan sendiri dari semua sektor kita saat ini terus mempersiapkan diri. Tidak hanya untuk menuju Sudirman tapi juga dengan adanya kualifikasi Olimpiade itu juga membuat kita akan lebih siap lagi dan lebih kerja keras lagi untuk apa menuju the overall strength of Indonesia's team has flourished in recent years, especially with the coming of age of young guns Anthony Sinisuka Ginting and Jonathan Christie in men's singles. Fresh from his first World Tour title triumph in New Zealand, the 21-year-old is looking forward to his third Sudirman Cup experience. Kita bisa lihat Jepang, China itu memiliki kekuatan yang sangat-sangat bagus dan juara bertahan Korea pun juga punya apa ya? komposisi yang sangat baik. Saya rasa Sudirman Cup kali ini akan lebih jauh lebih menarik. Your next Sunrise India Open winners Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu will be aiming to provide the points in women's doubles, while men's doubles will have the world number ones Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamujo holding the fort. Indonesia's closest challenges in the group will be Denmark. Despite the recent retirement of doubles great Christina Pedersen, the European champions still have plenty of talent to offer in the form of men's singles world number three, Victor Axelsson, Barcelona Spain Masters champion Mia Blickfeldt in women's singles, and Victor China Open winners Kim Astrup and Anders Skyrup Rasmussen in men's doubles. Secara kekuatan, kita melihat bahwa mungkin Denmark lebih merata secara kekuatan, di mana mungkin kita tahu ada Victor Axelsson, lalu juga uh, Ganda Putra ya, Ganda Putra juga cukup kuat, 
lalu mungkin di Putri juga saat ini mix double meskipun mungkin Pedersen sudah retire tapi tentunya ada pemain uh, apa pelapis ya yang saat ini juga cukup baik tentunya kita tidak boleh lengah While England can look to the Adcox and Commonwealth Games champions Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge for points on the board a lack of experience in the singles may work against them Untuk individu sendiri kan hanya masing-masing. Ini menjadi satu apa ya kalau dibilang e, kebanggaan negara, di mana kekuatan bulu tangkis setiap negara itu ya ada di Sudirman Cup. Karena secara bergu, secara mix ya untuk semua sektor itu ada di Sudirman. Cup. In Indonesia's 1991 final loss to Korea, Suzy Susanti showed exactly the kind of commitment needed to play in the Sudirman Cup when she bounced back from a game down to defeat Bang Soo Hyun in the women's singles contest. Test of her character now, Craig. She really has been very disappointing in that first set. And she's got to pick herself up. She knows she's the stronger player. But beaten by an outstanding straight drop from this young girl. Just out, well up. Beauty. This time, Susie Susanti wins the ladies' singles 2 11, 11 6, 11 6, to give Indonesia a lead by two matches to one in the Sudirman Cup final. Coming up after the break, we'll look at how China are shaping up in their bid for an unprecedented 11th Sudirman Cup title.
terrific rally. Don't cheer too much, don't cheer too much now. Which is what you Longest rally of the match and the best rally of the match so far. Oh. He's been serving so well. Sudirman Cup conquest indeed for Korea in 2017, their fourth overall. In this 2019 edition in Nanning, the defending champions are in Group 1C with Chinese Taipei and Hong Kong. World number six Son Wan Ho, however, won't feature in their title defense. He's out with a torn Achilles tendon. Men's singles duties are likely to be shared by Lee Dong Kyun, Kyo Kwang Hee, and Kim Dong Hun. In men's doubles, it's an ensemble cast of the young and dangerous. There are the 20-year-old Kang Min Hyuk and 19-year-old Kim Won Ho, who have reached the finals of both International Challenge Series in Osaka and Hanoi back in April, together with the 2018 Career Masters winners, 21-year-old Seo Sung Jae and 23-year-old Choi Sol Gyu. With veteran Sung Ji Hyun also pulling out in women's singles, the spotlight will also be on the next big thing, An So Young. The 17-year-old Korean, Ahn si Young wins her first World Tour Super 300 title here at the New Zealand Open. And she is now eager to feature in the Sudirman Cup. Women's doubles duo Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young also triumphed at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open after overcoming the world's top three double spares from Japan. But there it is. Third time lucky for Kim So Yong and Kong Hee Yong of Korea. Even with their mighty effort en route to victory, the Koreans still have more to give when it comes to the team. <laughs> The Koreans will need their best effort this time as they have Chinese Taipei, the fourth seeds of the tournament, in their group. Spearheading their challenge are two world-class singles players. In men's singles, Cho Tian Chen, who lost in the opening rounds of five top-tier events since winning the Victor Korea Open last September, saw a return of his form lately. In April, the 29-year-old reached the semi-finals of the Singapore Badminton Open and the Badminton Asia Championships. Women's singles is in the safe hands of world number one, Tai Tzu Ying. The Kaohsiung native has a plethora of singles titles, but is still craving a team championship. Since 2011, Chinese Taipei have always crashed out at the last eight stage, most recently to the Koreans in 2017. Key to banishing that curse will be the new men's doubles outfit, Wang Che Lin and Li Yang. Since partnering this year, Wang and Li have won the Barcelona Spain Masters and also savoured back to back success in Polio and India. Chinese Taipei's all round ability will be a key factor for progressing to the tournament's latter stage.
mark shots. As China seek to regain the cup, which they've won 10 times, six-time campaigner Lin Dan has been the shock omission, while eight players named to the squad will be enjoying their maiden Sudirman Cup outing. Most notable of the newbies is Liu Guangzhou, who rose to prominence by winning the men's singles crowns at the Crown Group Australian Open and Yonex Canada Open last year. Chen Long, who has been in four cup-winning squads, is the only one born before 1994 in the 20-player list. Men's singles will be helmed by world number two, She Yuqi. World number three, Chen Yufei, is set to lead the charge in women's singles. She'll be joined by the 19-year-old Han Yue, who helped China to victory in the Badminton Asia Mixed Team Championships in March. In men's doubles, world number three, Li Chenhui and Liu Yu Chen will lead the challenge with Hang Zheng Kai and Zhou Hao Dong as the second pair. Every time we win a match, we China's trump cards are the world's top two mixed doubles pairings. The top ranked Zhong Se Wei, Huang Ya Chong, and world number two, Wang Yi Liu and Huang Dongping. With China the favorites in group 1D to advance to the last eight, it will be winners take all between the other two teams, India and Malaysia. Shockwaves were felt in the Malaysian camp too, as Rio Olympics men's double silver medalists, Go Vi Shem and Tan Vi Kiong were overlooked. Yonex All England finalists Aaron Chia and So Wei Yik have been entrusted to be the spearheads in Naning. With former world number one Li Chong Wei not competing, world number 21 Li Zetia will be the singles anchor for his side. His counterpart in the India squad is Kadambi Srikant. The world number eight has shown some good form this year by reaching the quarter finals of the Malaysia Open and Singapore Open. Eight seeds India have two ace women single shuttlers. Pusala v Sindhu and Saino Neval. Pusala's form, however, has taken a knock since she took home the season-ending HSBC BWF World Tour Finals trophy. The world number five has not made the final in any of the six tournaments this year. Neval is faring slightly better, having won in Indonesia back in January, albeit at Carolina Marin's withdrawal. The Indian contingent holds a psychological edge over Malaysia, having beaten them en route to Team Gold at last year's Commonwealth Games. The top two teams in each group will advance to the quarter-finals, with the draw for those matches to be held after the group stage ends on 22nd May.
So that's all for now in this special preview of the Total BWF Sudirman Cup 2019. Remember to log on to BWFSudirmanCup.com for the latest stories and features on the tournament. See you in Nanning.